My name is Jim, and uh, my day job is a graphic designer. When I was growing up, we did not have a television. I had to go to my friends to watch TV, so I think I was probably more enamored with graphics and cartoon and animation than most kids my age. I decided that I wanted to have something to do with that. I wanted to be part of that. And so I started drawing a lot. I was really, I watched Popeye a lot when I was a kid. I actually started drawing all these Popeye cartoons and everything. I've been doing graphic design for over 25 years. And I think there comes a point when you have mastered something Obviously, there's always, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff for me to learn in graphic design, but you start kind of looking for opportunities to express yourself in different ways. When I started thinking about the knife making a couple years ago, I kept asking myself, like, what are you doing? Are you crazy? But um, my grandfather, my great-grandfather was a blacksmith. His son, my grandfather, was mechanic and also worked with steel and then my dad was a mechanic and worked with steel and so I kind of wonder if there's something in the genes that kind of pulls us towards working with mechanical things and metals and things like that. Over time I've realized that it's something that I am just passionate about and want to share with other people. And designing the knife, drawing it, figuring out how to make a beautiful aesthetic, but also something that is very useful and doesn't have features that are unuseful. And so that's really hard to do because it seems like every shape has been done, everything imaginable has been done. But you know, when you sit down with paper and pencil, there's always something new. What I love about knife making is it's so physical. Everything you do, except for the initial kind of sketching, it's all very physical and requires a lot of strength and focus. And you do have to be very conscious of how you're standing and how you're breathing. That moment when you've been working on this knife for hours and all of a sudden you have a knife in your hands and it's almost magical. It's almost like uh, you don't realize it until you step back and go, oh wow, it's almost done. I can see it. I can finally see this knife, you know. Thank you. 